Oh, how is ranch life going? Well, let me tell you. I lost one nail. I lost one falsy. I haven't brushed my teeth in 47 hours. My new white boots are now a brownish hue. I have horse slobber and stickies on my forearm. I'm still wearing the same clothes I wore to brunch yesterday. That, that is how ranch life is going. Today on Montana Dana, I observe morning chores on the ranch, and then we take a drive out into the pasture to visit the free roaming horses. I show them my new boots, they eat some hay, we plan out Dan's OnlyFans page, and find out if we can turn this city girl into a country girl after all. Subscribe and turn on the bell for more ranch life shenanigans. Time for the morning feed. I've never done morning feed. We stayed at the tiny home last night. It was nice just to kind of live in it and see what we're missing, what we're gonna need, so. I'm gonna do a little shopping later, but for now, we're just coming to see the horsies. You and I are gonna go for a ride. Ooh. Yes, we are. Hi. Hello, my pretty girl. She still won't let me touch her head. Fine. She just wants me for my food. Who thinks Dan needs to start a cowboy OnlyFans? Dan needs to start uh, working out. I think you need an OnlyFans, personally. I'd pay to watch this. You know, I do have calves. You do have what? Calves. What's that? There's other things that go on your thighs. Oh, ch oh, chaps. I've been known to wear them without pants on. Oh, chaps with no pants. I think I need to see the chaps with no pants before any ladies do though. That's my only one prerequisite. So today I'm hanging out with the cowboys and they do the morning routine. They're feeding the horses, giving them water. I'm still wearing yesterday's outfit, so I did not come prepared. Some call it the walk of shame. I call it the mind your own damn business. I'm a 40 year old grown ass woman. I can do whatever I want with my body. Thank you so much for your opinion. Facebook, especially. You know who you are, you know. Can we not with shaming people? Can we not? Dan's wearing the same outfit he wore last night too. Okay, no one's shaming him. Oh, I'm sorry, that was a little too liberal of me. Let's go back to the part where we're back in the country and I'm doing my job, shutting my mouth, looking hot and flying the drone, like a good country girl. And this is giving me some mad Hallmark movie vibes, so I'm curious, if you were to name this Hallmark movie, what would it be called? I have a couple of ideas. Riding bareback into midnight. A boot knocking Tuesday. A comet shines on Montana. A cowboy's wet dream. I don't know. I think you guys can do better. What do you have for me? I can't wait to read these comments. Gosh, look how beautiful it is. This is my dream. I wanna go, I wanna wake up in the morning, feed some animals, get some eggs, tend to the garden. Every day is gonna be a good day when you start it that way. I kind of got inspired when I was hanging out with Jan. She's my high school volleyball coach. She kind of runs her own little farm in her backyard and she goes and picks eggs every day. And I was like, oh, this is so nice. Having your morning chores and then spending time with this beautiful animal. Also the horses are pretty cool too. The sound of the meeting is kind of like a noise machine. It's cathartic, yeah. I want a horse machine if you have the rain or like white noise, but horses chewing food is what I want to fall asleep to. Just take a listen. Hi, horsies. Yeah. Kiki. We are going out to see the pasture horses. We call them wild horses. They're ranch horses. They just haven't been broke, so that's why we're calling them wild horses, but let's go check them out. Oh, here they come. No, they're not. They're going the opposite direction. The black one wants hay. I've never been rejected before. <laughs> I think that hat's scaring them. It's the hat, huh? So there's a herd of antelope back in the prairie. We've also seen and heard coyotes, but this is probably the last time I'm flying the drone back here because it scared all the animals and they ran away from us. But we did get a beautiful shot. It was fun while it lasted. I've never been rejected by the horses. Is it the truck or the right. drone? I'm liking Montana life. This is my view this morning. Not half bad. Probably should not have worn my white boots today. We're chasing down the wild horses. 
They're on the property in the pasture of the ranch and apparently they don't want food today. We're just trying to feed you. Help us help you. Work food. to sleep at night. My shoes are not delicious snacks, ma'am. This is my favorite way to enjoy the horses. I don't really like standing in the mix of them. They're a little too unpredictable for me, so I'm just gonna sit up here on the cap. Look, that horse has two birds on him. They like it when the birds are on him. Really? Keeps flies Oh. Hi, my friends. Maybe we should give the baby some. What do you think? Horse whisperer over here. Should I just start a horse ASMR channel? Hi, buddy. Baby girl. Baby girl. Baby girl he says. When you gonna let me ride you, baby? Are you talking to me? <laughs> it's like beautiful girl. When are you gonna let me ride you? Um, any day but Wednesday. <laughs> it's hump day. I, I work that day. I can't believe this is real life right now. Such a beautiful day. That little baby's so cute. Look at his red mane. He's so cute. We should call him Carrot Top. Does he use sun in? Like, how does he get that sweet glow? Do you ever sun in? Yeah. Oh, really? Baby. It's kind of fun seeing all the horses' personalities. They're kind of like people. Some of them are very sweet, some of them are a-holes, but I have my two favorites. Sam, who's in the round pen, and this cute little baby. If you can think of a good name for him, let oh, me know. Yeah, that's, that's, oh, come here. Come here. He's like, I don't know about you, girl. You look like a city girl to me. I'll just ignore him, not make eye contact. He'll come running back. They always do. You gonna sit in the back? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I cry or scream? Just not both. Oh, now you come crawling back. I see how it is. I see how it is. Yes, I am still wearing the same outfit I wore to lunch yesterday. I was not planning on staying in the tiny homes again tonight, and I did. Hence the white boots. That was a poor choice, poor choice. I need to learn how to country girl. I'm doing it incorrectly. I always need to keep a hiking outfit in my car and some work boots, work pants, etc. For days like today, when I'm covered in hay or when I'm down by the bay, I just may. What's that quote from Happy Gilmore? I don't remember, but I'm a very dirty girl today. I love it out here though. Dirty clothes means I did something today, so I'm happy. Ooh, hello, I'm pregnant. Those were some morning chores living on the ranch. I need to go check on the bees. They feed the horses every morning and every night. They don't always feed the pasture horses because they're just living off the land, but I really want to get a chicken coop. I would love to eventually completely live off the land, like have a cow, have a garden, and get eggs every morning. Later today, I'm gonna go to Matt's butcher shop and get some local <laughs> sausage and stuff. Cause I wanna eat locally. Like that's really important to me. When I went to Ireland, I really love that none of their food is hormone induced. It's all organic and locally grown for the most part. So I would love to live that lifestyle. That's my ideal lifestyle. I'm putting up with my shenanigans. <laughs> You're my best enabler. Seriously though guys, who wants an OnlyFans? Cowboy OnlyFans? <laughs> I'm just planning your OnlyFans page. Silver Fox. Hashtag Silver Fox. Yeah. Silver like a fox, hung not like a horse. <laughs> oh my god. That's his tagline. Silver like a fox, hung not like a horse. Who wants it? Silver Fox OnlyFans. Get some good cowboy footage. Maybe we can get him to take his shirt off later. I don't know. Let's see. If it's not obvious we're joking, yes, we are joking. Much sarcasm implied. All right, running home to get showered and changed. And tonight we're going to see our friend Lainey. She's a rodeo queen, no big deal. She's rodeo Scarlett Johansson. Gonna go
go support her tonight. Dan is starting a nonprofit called Western Futures. Basically, they want to support people who perpetuate the Western lifestyle. So for instance, if a local school needs a bunch of saddles, they will provide those for them. They'll sponsor bull riders, even people who are interested in Western arts, like leather making and stuff like that. Or if you have a rodeo queen who's interested in barrel racing and she needs help with funding for her horse care, uh, travel, her clothing. Do you guys know how expensive it is to be a rodeo queen just based on the clothing alone? I did not know. I did not know. I mean, I know how expensive it is to be a drugstore cowgirl. I know how expensive that is, so I can imagine what being a rodeo queen is. They're raising money toward preserving the Western lifestyle. So if you know anybody who needs some funding for their rodeo stuff, for ranch stuff, anything that preserves the Western lifestyle, you would love to help. So let me know down in the comments. You can send me an email, danarichards at gmail.com. Get them in touch, because we're here to help people who are interested in that kind of thing. Let me know. Maybe we can help them out. I love the ranch life. I love looking Western, but I would never consider myself a cowgirl. I feel like I'm gonna have to ride a wild horse, snip a horse's balls, eat some Rocky Mountain oysters. Like, you have to do certain things to earn this hat. I mean, this is like a California Coachella hat. Who are we kidding? This isn't a real cowgirl hat, but. I felt kind of cowgirl today, going out to feed the horses in the pasture. I'm really enjoying this new chapter. Mmm, RX coffee. If you drive through Livingston, I think they have the best coffee in town. Seriously though, I'm a mess today. After working on the ranch, I lost a nail and I lost an eyelash. I'm looking like a freak of nature, but I'm not gonna change. Just cause I'm doing ranch life, I'm still going to be my extra self. I'm sorry to disappoint those of you who think I need to change based on my surroundings, but I'm not that type of gal. You know what, I'm just living my life, so just let me do that, I'll let you live your life, you can judge me. I'm just here to make you feel better about yourself and all of your fingernails, or if you're more rugged than me and don't wear nails, I'm here to make you feel better about yourself as well. But just like, leave me alone guys, just let me be. I haven't brushed my teeth in 49 hours, give me a break. Okay, let's go freshen up. Back on the ranch and I'm just, trying to hide from the wind while Dan is getting ready. So a lot of days in Livingston, Montana are like this. It's so peaceful out here. It just, we're sitting on the back of the truck, just having a drink. So beautiful, so serene. But then there's also Livingston days like this. Yes, Livingston has very beautiful days and very windy days. I grew up in the wind, but I still, to this day, dislike it very, very much. And I get a lot of questions. Dana, why are you wearing all these pretty dresses out on the ranch? Well, I'm just feeding the horses while I'm waiting for Dan, just meeting him at the ranch because we're about to head over to Bozeman to see our friend Lainey. She's doing the rodeo over there tonight. And I'm just back at the tiny homes, visualizing the future. If you didn't see my latest video, I announced that Dan and I are moving into his and hers tiny homes. I think each having our own space, especially considering we both work from home, would be the most ideal situation. And if that works out, we'll eventually move in together. So I'm ordering a bunch of stuff for the tiny homes soon. So I'm just kind of out taking measurements, doing that kind of thing, and hanging out with the horses. They took Tangles out of the pen with Sam and Star. And they put in Lily, and now Lily and Star are ganging up on Sam. He's always the odd man out. Dude, I'm sorry. I love you so much. Just a minute ago, they weren't letting me feed Sam. So let's see if we can do like a covert operation. Nothing to see here, folks. Sam. Meet me behind the shed at 3 o'clock. Why you gotta be such jerks to Sam, really? I'm just trying to be friends with Sam, okay? No, not for you. Horses these days, I swear. Maybe I'll go meet Sam at our secret hiding spot. Are they gonna beat you up for this? Mission Horse Impossible was a fail today. Oh, now you come back. Now that I don't have any treats in my hand. Oh, you're going to get a big handful. Oh, yes. 
So we went to Bozeman to go to the rodeo and it was sold out. So we came back and filmed a Q and A instead. If you missed that video, I'll link it at the end, but it's kind of a fun one. You should check it out. Plot twist, we did not get into the rodeo last night. It was sold out and then we couldn't get in touch with Lainey. So she's busy doing her rodeo queen thing. So it's the next day. So we're gonna continue day in the ranch life today instead of yesterday. So there have been some bears in the area. So we're gonna go check on the bees and make sure the bears didn't get into the hives. Good times, good times. Do I have to be gate bitch right now? So I'm sitting in the gate bitch seat. Woo! Where uh, you have to get out and get the gate, but Dan's a gentleman, so he's gonna go get the gate. Woo, woo! The horses are right there today. Usually they're way, way, way back in the pasture. The moment of truth. Do we still have beehives? Where are they? Oh, we have both of them. Yay. Do we see any bees though? Yeah. All right, we're good then. No bears to see here. Sam is the odd man out again. Aren't you dingus? Are you gonna even finish your grass? There you go. See, he's running. You be nice, miss. Yeah, I agree, Sam. The boys are over there. They went to a gun show the other day and got some new toys. <laughs> Boys and their toys. I personally want to go drive the motorcycle. The motorcycle might have to be an adventure for another day. I'm actually happy Dan bought a gun because we've been hiking a lot and there's lots of bears around here. So we want to make sure we're safe while hiking. So he's going to carry a gun. Hi, Tang Tang. We almost forgot about Tangles. We can't forget about you, buddy. I wonder why they call him Tangles. I wonder. You got the hair that just won't quit, huh? Oh, he's covered in flies. We need to get the fly spray. Do you guys see that? They'll just like chill. You just want me for my snacks. We'll give him one more. I can't say no to that face. I can't say no to that face. I'm gonna go give Kina and Sugar some snacks. They like the butterscotch ones and the peppermint ones. By the way, how cute is this purse? My mom made it for me for my birthday. She's a really talented seamstress. She made all of our Halloween costumes growing up and she's really very talented. It makes me wanna go get my sewing machine out of storage. Speaking of, I'm gonna be going down to St. George, getting everything out of my storage space and going through it. If you guys like declutter or cleaning out my storage type vlogs, keep an eye out for that. Coming soon. Who's this horsey down here? Hiding from the crowd. No. No. I think they're on to me. I'm trying to feed this little dude over here, guys. Here, I'll just toss him. That's for you. Where's baby? I really don't know where the baby is. Well, this has been fun. I need to go find the baby now. I'm a little concerned. Going to grab some grub. One thing I'm really looking forward to living in a tiny home is being able to cook. I miss cooking so much. I love cooking for people. I really rarely cook for myself. Some of you guys have been wanting some fitness and health related stuff, so I might do an updated what I eat in a day. I'm planning out content for the next couple months. If you guys wanna do another 12 week challenge, let me know I've had some interest. Basically, I show up with you Monday through Friday. I show you everything I eat. We do a workout together and we set goals together. But let me know which type of content you guys are enjoying. I know some of you guys like the horse content. Some of you are sick of it. Some of you are here for the tiny home content and travel content. And some of you are here from my fitness videos. So if you made it this far in the video, let me know what brings you here and what kind of content you want to see. I will feed the horses. Ew, is baby going to let me touch him? You are. That's so nice. Can I feed him? Like a um, pitchfork feed him? I'm going to feed the horses. Pitchfork the hay and all the things. Looking for a pitchfork. Let's see. If I were a pitchfork, where would I be? Oh, damn. Um, he said that pitchfork might be over here. Send a little love on the Generally speaking, you want to pull from the bottom so it doesn't get so aggregated. Okay. Oh, you got a long way to walk there, girl. <laughs> I'm new here. Look at 
Look at that load. Nice work. Not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed if my dress isn't dirty at the end of the day. We're, we're gonna go over to the sorority and feed the ladies. Dan was feeding the ladies tonight, so I went over to hang out with one of my favorite horses. His name is Sam. Sam, Sam and I got to walk around the pen the other day. Good boy. I'm starting to get a little more comfortable with the horses. I was able to walk Sam around the pen, just get comfortable with him one-on-one. -on -one. I'm trying to get more comfortable with horses so they're more comfortable around me. I know they can sense your energy and I'm definitely afraid of them, but I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone just a little bit. It's kind of fun seeing the progress. We're both getting a little more comfortable around each other. That was the easiest that he's ever gotten into a halter. So yeah, Sam's my buddy and we'll keep working together and eventually I would like to ride him. There's something about Montana summers that takes me right back to being a kid. If you listen, you can hear the crickets and it's just got like a nice breeze. I mean, sometimes it's a nice, windy, gusty tornado, but other times it just makes your curtains float and it's quite lovely. It's a very magical evening here in Montana. Didn't I already try to end this video like twice? So you guys are liking the horse footage. So if you made it this far in the video, the first one who makes it this far in the video right the word is and you fill in the blank so the first person to do that everybody else copy their word and i'll write you all back thank you so much for watching good night i hope you guys have a great rest of your week and i'll see you this coming monday